Hi, I'm Mel Pickup, Chief Executive of Bradford Teaching Hospitals, and I'd like to welcome you to our weekly roundup. I'm here outside St Luke's Hospital where our staff are working really hard to keep many of our routine NHS services running. When I started filming these weekly vlogs for our staff back in the early summer, I really hoped that as the year progressed, I would be speaking less and less about COVID. But as we all now understand, we in Bradford District are firmly in the grip of a second wave of this devastating illness. The battle with the virus isn't over. We know we face a very challenging winter. Today, we have more than 80 patients suffering from COVID in our hospitals. Driving the rates of this infection down across our city and our district is all of our responsibilities. So please wash your hands regularly and meticulously, wear a face mask and maintain two metres distance between you and others. Here's a reminder about the importance of hand washing. Understandably, in March and April, everyone was stringent about washing their hands. Here's what you need to do to keep yourself and others safe. Wet your hands with water. Apply enough soap to cover all hand surfaces. Rub hands palm to palm. Rub back of each hand with the palm of the other hand with fingers interlaced. Rub the palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Rub the backs of fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlaced. Rotational rubbing of left thumb clasped in right palm and vice versa. Rotational rubbing backwards and forwards with clasped fingers of right hand in left palm and vice versa. Rotational rubbing of each wrist. Rinse hands with water and dry thoroughly with a towel. These steps are vital in helping to stop the spread of the virus. Thanks Faye. Fighting this virus is hard, but we've got fantastic support from our staff and from the people of Bradford and we can do this. It was great to hear Chief Medical Officer Professor Chris Whitty this week in the Prime Minister's press conference praise our city's amazing, hard and creative work to contain infection rates. Next, if you're an expectant mum, then your health and well-being and that of your unborn baby could not be more important. And during the pandemic, we want you to know that we are here for you. Here's specialist midwife Becky Palethorpe to explain. We know that COVID has been a really anxious time for pregnant women and their families. Um, and we just want to reassure you that we're still here to help. The unit is still open as normal and we're encouraging people to ring us if they've got a problem. You don't need to wait. We're open 24 hours a day. So if you've got concerns about your baby movements, that you don't leave that because it's vitally important that you ring us the same day so that we can organise to bring you in. We obviously, we do have quite a lot of safety measures in place um, and that's to keep our mums, our babies, our families and our staff safe. So if you've got concerns, you can contact us at our maternity assessment unit on 01274 364531. Thanks Becky. Now it's time to find out what else is making the headlines across the trust. Another week with plenty going on. Now, we're on a sustainability drive here at Bradford Teaching Hospitals. We're on a mission to tackle climate change by reducing emissions to net zero by 2040. Here's our sustainability manager, Craig Wilson, to describe the impact of the initiatives that we're working on. We are starting to work 
uh, hard in terms of reducing our carbon footprint as a trust. This year, the trust now procures 100% uh, certified renewable electricity to both Bradford Royal Infirmary and St. Luke's Hospitals. So this ensures that all electricity that comes from the grid is now net zero. Behind us is the Listening for Life building that currently has solar panels on the roof. We also have a number of other properties which would power the same size as this building behind me. Check out the social media platforms for weekly information in terms of how this trust is, is continuing to support uh, NHS England's uh, net zero ambition. Thanks for that update, Craig. Well, that's just about it for this week. But don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. But I can't go without sharing some super news about our intensive care consultant, Tom Lawton. Tom has been awarded an MBE for his services to the NHS during the pandemic, and we could not be more proud. Congratulations, Tom. Finally, Something that kept our clinical teams going during the first wave of the pandemic was knowing that our communities were thinking about them and supporting them. The many gifts and donations, other tokens of appreciation meant so much. And if you could give again, now that we are firmly in the second wave, I know it would mean the world to our staff. So that's it. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you for everything that you are doing to protect our communities, our hospitals and our NHS. And I'll catch up with you next week. Music